So there's many reasons why you might want to scrape the news and where better to go than Google, I guess. So we go there for everything else, so why not this one? And today's a day for us in the UK where we found out the rest of our lockdown plans. Yes, we are still locked down and you can't do anything realistically. So we were excited to find out this. Now it got me thinking we could probably have a good way to scrape the Google News site and we could create some kind of real custom feed or aggregate it or maybe even do some analysis on it or something. So I thought I'd create this video to show you guys how you can scrape the Google News website. So this is it here. And the first thing you wanna do is not try and scrape this page because you're not gonna get anywhere. It, it might work, but it'll be slow, it'll be arduous. So what you wanna do is you want to come to this URL here, this uh, one, that I'll, I'll link it down below for you. But basically I've created a search term here, which is called lockdown. And because it knows I'm from the UK, I'm getting the UK results. Now this is all of the, I believe, I can't remember how many items there are, but there's quite a few of all the last uh, news items from Google that match this here. Um, so what we can do is we can actually copy this URL. I'm gonna remove the end bit and just the bit that I need, copy that. And I'm gonna come over to our code and we are going to use uh, request HTML for this just because, and we're gonna say uh, from requests underscore HTML import HTML session because we always want to use a session object. If you don't know what this is, um, I've got a video on sessions and why you should use them. So you should go check that out. I'll leave a link down below for you. So we're gonna say our URL is what I just said here. Now you can see that we've broken this down into the search and the queue for the query. And I've put lockdown, which I'm gonna leave on there. Now we can say S is equal to our HTML session. And we're gonna do R is equal to S dot get. And we're gonna do our URL. Now, if I just print the R dot HTML dot HTML, that should give us all the data back there. We can see that it's worked and we've got all this information back. So we just need to pass through this now. So to get the titles, I would say, let's do for title in r.html.find. And I believe it was, this will work. We can just do print title.text. And we run that and we get all the titles back. So we can see them all here. Now you could do this for any parts, other parts of the information. Um, but this got me thinking with this so easy to be accessible, there's got to be uh, a better way. And of course, somebody has already built, uh, created their own Python package for it, uh, always happens and no credit to this guy. So I'm just gonna delete all this because we don't need it. I'm gonna use this over here. So I've got the GitHub page open here and I will give all the way to the top uh, and credit to this guy for, for making it. Here's his GitHub and the GitHub link. Now I've installed this already. I was just playing with it just a minute ago, but apart from that, this is almost completely fresh to me as well. So you can see we're pip installing here. I've already done that. And we have a quick start that we can follow. Um, so we've got the quick start and we've got uh, top stories, stories by topic and a query search. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna replicate what I just did. So we're gonna copy the quick start and come back to our code and paste that in there. And we just want the docs real back real quick by a query search. So we're gonna say search is equal to gm.search and then type our term in there. And we can do not over a time limit. So I'm gonna ignore that for a minute and just see how many results we get back. So we're gonna say our search is lockdown, which is what we just did. And then let's see what happens when we print out search now working okay we got a lot of data back wow a lot a lot a lot a lot and i'm guessing just by looking at some of this um we're not it's not geo targeted at all washington post yeah us responds okay that's cool let's scroll down so let's see where we're at let's have a look uh at the so dictionary so we can do, do dot keys and we can see what keys we get okay so we got feed and entries so let's do uh, search let's do feed so I'm just uh, accessing this part of the dictionary 
the feed tag, uh, the feed key, sorry. Okay, so that just, that's the one that explains where everything is. So let's do entries and this should be the rest of the data. Yes, it is. Do we have a title of some description in here? I'm sure we do. So let's print out, uh, let's do a for loop again, for item in search entries, print item. Let's run that. Oh, you have to have an in in your for loop, otherwise it won't work. Let's see what we get, okay, cool. So we can see that's one whole entry there. So we have a title, so we can then access that key and we can do title. And there we go, we've got a load more titles. We've got more information, I think. Although it looks to be very similar, um, I'm guessing we're just not geo-targeted. Right, that's cool though. So we can see that really quickly and easily with just this little bit of code, we've managed to get all the titles and everything back. So I'm going to try and expand on that a bit and we'll write something a bit more complicated that gets us um, the top X amount of stories for whatever uh, search term we put in. So it looks like we've got quite a few. So let's see how many actually come back. Let's remove this as we don't need it now. So let's do um, print search. Uh, actually, let's print the length of search entries and see how many we return. A hundred. I wonder if we get a hundred each time. Uh, let's do something else like let's put in football and see if we get another hundred entries. Yes, we do. So it seems like we get a hundred entries each time. Great. So let's go back to the docs. Okay. Talks about the class language. Okay, so we can do country is equal to great. So let's let's location this then to the UK. Oh, where was that going in? Into the here. Country, UK, and let's change it back to lockdown. Let's see if we get another hundred results. We do. Okay, cool. So what we want to do is create something that we can just quickly search the type the top titles for uh, in Python. So let's leave it at country UK and let's remove that. And we're going to say, let's create a new function. And we'll say that will be uh, get titles and we're going to give it a search term. So we'll just say search and then we're going to indent this and we'll put our search term in here. And then we will do, uh, let's print them back out for now. Search entries. And let's say um, news item is equal to search entries. And then we can do for item in news item print item dot title and let's check that works all right let's return out of there here and we'll do lockdown and let's see if we get the titles back again great there we go all 100 of them or so so let's change this to uh Football, I can't think of any anything going on under. My brain's frozen. There we go, I load there. Great, so what we can do is if we print the item now, we can see what other bits of information we can get. So what we'll do is we will get the link as well. So let's print out the link to check that that works. There we go. So now we can just assemble the rest of our scraper here. So what we're gonna do is we'll say, um, What I'm going to do is I'm just going to call this story or article. Story will be fine. I'll create our dictionary and we'll say our title is equal to item dot title. And then the link, cause if this one interests us, we might want to click on the link, item dot link. And then we can, uh, let's do, um, 
let's create a blank list and we'll say stories blank list and then for each one we can do stories.append append our story to it and then out of the end we can return the whole list like this okay so when we run this function now it's going to return a, a list uh, of all of the ones like this so if I have to do change it to print here and now run this we should be able to get we can see the title followed by the link for each one of the stories I'm going to change it off for football for now let's go back to lockdown flavor of the moment and there we go great just to tidy this up I should probably move this outside of that function in case we want to write any other ones and let's run it again just to make sure we're all good still we are there we go so that's a really kind of cool way um, I'm glad I found this uh, Pi Google News um, I'll put a link to the github down below so you guys can go check it out it does a lot more things than this but it's really cool to I love being able to get the data out of the websites without having to, to screen scrape if you like without having to take that information um, if you can download the HTML or if you can get the raw data somehow that's so much better and so much quicker uh, imagine trying to scrape the front page of the actual Google News site that you look at compared to this so I've got 17 lines of code which probably could be slimmed down quite a lot just to get the title and the link down for a chosen search term so thank you guys for watching I hope you've enjoyed this one um, I've got loads more web scraping content on my channel already more stuff to come so it'll be, if you're interested in this sort of content make sure you subscribe and it doesn't help doesn't hurt to <laughs> and it doesn't hurt if you want to hit that like button down below as well so thank you very much guys and I will see you in the next one goodbye